What's going on guys? Today I've got a budget Viking war deck for you. It costs 40 bucks or you can make an even cheaper version for like 20. Overall it performed really well. However, some of the losses were just unavoidable. What the fuck? But let's dive in, break it down, and then take a look at some games. Okay, here we can see the deck. It costs about $40 if you needed every single card. However, you can also remove Odie and replace it with a Raid Reveler. Raid Revelers are free. Odie is decent. Uh, it has a little bit of a perk. It's the same thing as a Raid Reveler, except it also reduces by one the cost of a random highest mana creature in your hand. There's nothing super expensive that you're going to have, so it really doesn't matter. If you don't have an Odie, just run a Raid Reveler, and the deck now becomes less than $30. So how does this thing work? Let's take a peek. We've got a bunch of Vikings that have cool synergies, like this Skulk and Valkyrie. After a creature takes damage, a random friendly creature gains plus one strength. If you can drop this on turn one and simultaneously drop a Battle Bard, which gives plus two strength to a friendly Viking, you are dropping a 3-3 three, three Skulkin and a 1-2 Battle Bard on turn one. That is nine stats on turn one, which is even more than a Pyramid Warden. Nine is greater than eight. Hashtag math, hashtag I'm a genius. Now, other cool things we've got. Warmonger Smith giving plus one to the relics. We've got the Blitz with the Tavern Brawler and the Blitz with the Viking Longship and the Blitz with the Vanguard Axewoman. Vanguard Axewoman plus Battle Bard makes for a nice four damage removal from hand, which is pretty cool if you need it. We've got the Iron Tooth Goblin to remove your opponent's relics. The Feral Shapeshifter is cool. It is not a Viking, but it's hidden for one turn. It does one damage to your opponent's creatures. This is nice to take something out while simultaneously developing your board. The most important thing is sticky creatures. Uh, these are very sticky because they're hidden, so you drop a 4-4. Four, four, they can't kill it most of the time. And then that helps with your Thunder Callers, which are Vikings, and when you're frenzied, they get plus one, plus one. And another round when you're frenzied, a uh, creature in your hand gets plus one, plus one. Uh, in addition to just giving plus three, plus three to a creature on board. And so that just helps a lot of your creatures go burr. Also, we've got Commander Pyros. This is also one that you don't really need to be running uh, if you don't own it. You could also just replace him with a Raid Reveler. This one is cool, though. After a friendly creature survives damage, it gets plus one, plus one. This is really good against some decks, like Aggro Nature decks. Uh, it basically negates any damage you take and just gives your creatures a buff, as you can trade all your Blitz creatures right into your opponent's little one fours, and then you take one damage, but then it immediately heals and gets plus strength. So that's huge. And basically, you just want to overwhelm your opponent, smack him in the face, use your Slayer God power to do two damage, use your Relics to hit him in the face. Enduring Shield is really nasty because you can give your creatures protected. And then we have Soul Survivor as a finisher. With one of your really sticky creatures, you get plus three strength, and it deals its damage to every creature. And if you put that on a Feral Shapeshifter, that's seven damage, and then you could smack their face for seven while simultaneously clearing their board. So this is a great finisher. And now let's dive in and take a look at some games. Uh, got the mirror match, and we're going second. That love Iron Tooth against War. Love the Vanguard. This is a two-four body. Let's keep it. Good murderous morning. Best of luck. We can now immediately punish that. There's also Relic Removal in the Sanctum. Get ready. So he'll likely trade, and then we can trade back. We'll have a 2-4. Some face work first. Another enduring shield. Doesn't have blitz.
That's a huge mistake. Even if he's not playing around specifically a Feral Shapeshifter, War has a lot of things like Bar Fight, Auric Rush, Savage Strike, things they could do one damage. Archers, a lot of a lot of little pings. At last. This could be big. We can actually now just trade and keep this alive. Love to get that another round out, though. Let's do it. The sun sets. The light fades. Save that Day pip next turn. We can conceivably rune of strength and another round. Plus, of course, he has Carnage Sweep, and then we just die. Like, Enraged decks typically run Carnage Sweep, though. I don't think he can get the relic removal. He can kill this, but not while also living. Unless he has a relic. We have options from the Sanctum. I'm... I'm gonna hold off though. Of these games. I don't think he can gain the favor. Out a blade of sticks, and then he could just remove my relic if he goes face, but then we punish him by hitting for a lot. Now we turn this into a 5 7 with frontline and give it protect. Protect, but it's gonna cost him a lot of health. Or he's gonna have to sack this. Enter Pyros is interesting here. Now this gets even bigger. First we rune. Play Commander Pyros. We trade here. This gets bigger. Now we go face. My followers bow to none. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, he's not going to be able to uh, do anything here. I have to pop protect. He's just dead. <laughs> GG's. Ooh. These are great cards, but it's going to be hard to get this relic out. Um, we're going second. I really want something that has Blitz. None of these have blitz. This is going to be tough. 
So just uh, try your best. Best Aye. of luck. Get ready. We're going to just try and take the board here. We have plenty of pips. We can pip out a blade of sticks next turn. Okay. Definitely going to just kill that. Not let him reduce something. Probably gets traded out by like a tavern brawler, but then we tavern brawler his tavern brawler. Or just blade of sticks. Get ready. I can't do that. Ulfgar. Jesus. I can see this guy very often. It's that time again. Thundercaller's interesting. Sadly, we can't take the time. I'm gonna save it for this rune of strength. Okay. The rune of strength, we could drop it on a thunder collar and make a big thunder collar. Hmm. I can't do that. <laughs> It's going to enable us to get a big thunder crawler. Yeah, and I'm just going to pass. He can't, he can't buy anything, so. At last. Another round is interesting. So we can give plus three, plus three, that makes a seven, seven, plus we can hit it with the Rune of Strength. It becomes a nine, nine. Seems good. And just this allows me to trade this, and then I can make this front line. Yeah, let's do that. Also buffs this guy five eight for four mana, not bad. We have to be a little bit concerned about a carnage sweep, so we can't go all in here. Two arms. Andrew Pyrus is now interesting. Two ten face damage. Comes a nine six. We can't take it out with the relic. He has to carnage sweep here. My followers bow to none. Maybe he has a Viking longship and trades both. Doesn't quite get him there. Oof. Ouch. GG's. Okay, against magic. Let's see what we can do. Don't really need these knock fees against magic. This is not a good hand. Um. 
I like the, the hidden creature because it'll at least stick for a turn. I like that this has a lot of health. Best of luck. We use our pip here for this. We have no turn two. Feels bad to be aggro and pass turn one, but it is what it is. This is a dead card against magic as well. Off to not good start. Uh, I say we could hope he plays a 1 1. Very nice for us. See this turn he plays a bibliomaniac. Or ramp. Here we go. All right. Playing right into our hands. Announce doesn't do very much at all. We've got a relic if he does get a frontliner. We're gonna smack him for a lot of damage. If it breathes, it bleeds. Six two. We can blade of sticks this. At last. Only cost one. Uh, so we got a lot of options this turn. If we do Blade of Sticks, we've only really got Iron Tooth, which feels really bad. Would love to get these two out. We could use Vanguard to take this out. Protected is huge. We can't board wipe me. It's six and a half next turn. With a pip, so he's not quite to seven, but the turn after. Basically got two turns to kill him. Um, super important. You have to do that in case he uh, has saved Blast. We couldn't let him trade and then just blast everything. Now at least we'll keep three on the board. We have three here. We have two here. Racking Bolt. Saved Blast. Full board clear. He kills one thing. Okay. He doesn't have the Shape Blast. He does have this. Probably not enough. We'll be at seven next turn. Might be enough to stop one turn, then he plays a demo. Let me god power this. And do eight damage. For 10 damage here. Let's see how they respond. Let's see if he's got a demo. If he does have demo, he still might not heal because he might hit this, and then we just have lethal. But even with demo, he's 33% chance to lose. Even Shape Blast doesn't matter. GG's. Go. Oh. 